Hi, this is a, a photograph I took many years ago at Dis, it's on the Suffolk Norfolk border and we were staying in a house near here and this was a, a view of a, of a lake in the area where we did a lot of walking. As you can see the picture is rather overexposed in the foreground so it looks very dark, there's not a lot of detail but we'll have to invent something there. There's a bank coming down down here with these, these trees. I'll move that over a bit, open it up and get this background stuff and this distance coming into it. So I'll uh, just zoom you out of that so you can see my paper. Right, okay. Right, materials. <clears throat> Lovely white new butcher's tray, well, display tray, about 12 inches by 9 to 8, 9 inches, whatever that is in, in metric. Uh, lemon yellow, raw sienna, uh, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber, Payne's grey, and that's my eighth colour, my little Cinderella down there is, is burnt sienna. I use that, it makes a nice distance and it's, it's good warm colour, a very rich, rich dark red much darker than the light red, which isn't really light, that's why well, they call it light red. Anyway, I, I'm, uh, I'm not going to bother about uh, drawing it out, this one, I'm going to try and do a fairly quick one of this. So I'll wet the paper first, which is Fabriano, £130 weight from Art Discount, Grantham's, it comes in packs of uh, a hundred, which is a very good way to buy it for about thirty pounds, and it's great for wetting wet. But it has fairly smooth surface, not really suitable for a dry brush. But if you get it right, so on the on the, um, the photograph, there's some there's very little reflection. There's some still still water. I'll show there, some still water here where you can see a bit of reflection, a bit around here. I'll probably enhance that, but there's a lot of dry brush you can use here, but whether we actually do, I don't know. Right, so I'll uh, put in some, some raw sienna over that, warm it up. Ooh, what's that? I think that's gone in a bit hard there. Eh? Put that in there. blue now. Blue and uh, I usually mix my blue with just a little bit of alizarin. <coughs> I think I'm in a bit hard with that. Um, <coughs> uh, raw sienna. But, uh, never mind. We'll put that in there. Uh, of course that's for the bank. A bit of water in there just to show that reflecting in the in the lake. Right, I'll just reclip that. It's, it's nice and wet now. It's it's all expanding. So ah, look, look, we've got a cauliflower there. Well, that'll be covered up by a tree, and I'll make sure it is. Right, now I'll put in this background. It's all sky colours, but it's quite sort of weak. I will just put those in. And then there's some... Uh, some hard edged trees just coming a bit closer in to there. So we'll uh, put in a bit of yellow, yellow oak in there. Oh, yellow oak, raw sienna. And we'll just, just establish the distant bank there. And then we've got some uh, heavier. 
bluey green, but slightly heavier than what's gone in there, so put that in there, just drop that in. So not so much over there, but just all very delicate. It's very, very distant, this bit. So now we'll uh, go with the warmer, the warmer greens. Now we're coming up here. Try to leave some bit of sparkle there. And then we've got some brighter greens coming up behind here. Leave some sky holes for the birds, don't forget. Just using a bit of negative space there to establish <laughs> the shape of this one coming in here. This was of trees. to be covered up but I just want to establish a bank coming down there anyway. So we can sort of show the reflections here. This is in lieu of dry brush here I think. some of the other side. Uh, back into those bluey greens. I usually, if I'm not using paints grey here, I, I'm uh, mixing the colours with uh, light red. Oh, that's just, come on, get these in. More sienna on that, that side there, a bit of light. Bear with the colours of these. Well, I'm trying to bear with the colours. More or less a mirror image here, but it's, we've got these trees and the bank coming in here. Oh, I just 
Brasil. Sen daha şadır fabrici. Right, okay. So that's looking quite nice in there. So we'll knock up a, a nice colour to... Oh, I can get down there. So we'll... Uh, and sienas in there, yellow and well, raw and burnt. This grass is coming up on this bank here. Quite a dry brush here yeah, and just using the, the hairs that have separated as, as a way of showing, showing that they're much darker now. Paints grey with the burnt sienna. So I want some dark in there for, with the broken ground here. Because this is the support for the whole picture here. Ah! Some, some grass, fronds. <sighs> right, I think I'll just dry this. The idea being that um, <coughs> I'll re-wet the paper and do some bits of reflection across it. So I just just coming across there. Right, okay. That's all right. Let's just put in some some of those colours. Lighter Sienna. Right, this 
same over there. Nice and dark reflections there. It's a very warm day today, so this is drying into the, uh, the water is going right into the uh, paper. I'm just just trying to repeat what's uh, what's in there. Give that a dry, and then I'll put the trees in. Somehow, we've got to touch the paper there with uh, the hake. That's the trouble when, when you're working quite on, on the paper. Uh, I don't know if I can just lift those out. Probably. That yeah. hardly show. Right now, then uh, the this tree coming up here. That is So I'll use uh, burn umber and ultramarine for the uh, trunk a bit of light red. Some, uh, I won't overdo this. There's some uh, bits coming up here, but I'm going to put some uh, some stipple on this. There's actually a little island here, but uh, I can't show that. <coughs> So let's um, get some of this up here then. So I'll make this edge a little bit more interesting. Some rigor work in there just to. Well, not rigor, I don't need to worry about rigor when I've got a hake. Oh, I'll do a stone. 
Now you can get from Watson, he bowls dot balls and tie into the stone, so he's bowling wicket to wicket, so he doesn't have to do a great deal. LBW is in the game. Just had a bit of interest in the foreground here. Bit of warming there, I think. I want to maintain th this th the depth that I that's in the photograph, but. But I can't do it all, will I? I can really create an impression because I can't really see what is there, but it's just ground with stuff on it. Man, I can just keep freaking out again. Right, now we'll, we'll put in, I'll put in a, a bit of a, a bit of a greeny shrub in there. I'll do this in a time honoured fashion. I'll, Clean my brush, clean it out on the cloth, and break it all up like, like that, so it goes everywhere. A really bit of water on there, so. The dark greens. I don't want to destroy the integrity of this nice little bit of landscape there with all of this. So. Let's put a few branches back in there. Mm. Right, nearly finished. I just want to put a few little leaves on the, uh, in there. Because this one's a bit nice of catching, catching the light. Right, 
Right. I think we'll let that go after that our signature. Risk ruining it, alright. Nice grey sort of jacket, here's pretty good. Yeah. Just sitting down in the, in the foliage. It's just got him in there. Yeah, I wonder. That's one there. Maybe his head's just a little bit small for his body. Um, right, I'll put that in the mouth and see, see whether we've done any good or not. Show you the picture again. Well, I'll show you that in a minute. This, this one. Mm -hmm. Well, bear with me a moment. Alright, there we are. Lake at this Norfolk Suffolk border, fisherman. Fishing on, fishing on a Norfolk Lake, Norfolk Lake Fisherman, something like that. There's the picture. There. 
and that is what I made of it. I don't think that's too bad. Muddy in there. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye bye.